Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It symbolizes sonship. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Game he didn't have to put on, he pulled off of those old nasty clothes he had while he was wallowing in the mud of the with the with the with the hogs. <laughs> Bless hogs. God. But the so. father gave him a robe. Yeah. Come yeah. on, Pastor. Yeah, yeah. Amen. yeah. And restored him to where he was. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, glory to God. Come on. Romans 13 and 4 tells us to put on Christ. Put on. And make no provision for the flesh mm. to fulfill the lust thereof. See, when you got on Christ. Yeah. When you got him on, you make no provision for the flesh. Yeah. So when the father brought the son back in, he restored him back into the fold right where he was. Yes. It was just as if he, he had never did. Yeah. Yeah. And when God saved us, and we know we was a wretch undone when we was out there like yeah, 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 the yeah. devil with the blue dress on. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. We were out there. We were out there. But God, when we came back into the fold, he justified us. Yes. And it was just as if we had yes. never did anything. Yes. God gave us our robe yeah. and restored us. Hallelujah. Yes. Colossians 3 and 10 says, Having put on the new man, oh glory to God, having put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Yes. When we put on the new man in Christ, uh, my word tells me old things are passed away. All right. All things and you know, I like to say, look at here. Look at here, look at here. I am new. Right. I am new. I no longer do those things I used to do. I no longer say those things I used to say. I no longer go those places I used to go. Mm -hmm. See, when you got on Christ, you ain't going to fit. You're going to be an awkward puzzle piece when you're trying to go back out in the world. Yeah. Come on, yes. Pastor. You're not going to fit. So you might as well stay on in the fold right. and come on home to Jesus. Come on home. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to your name. And after he gave him a robe, hallelujah, he gave him a ring. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Glory to God. He placed a ring back up on his finger. Yes. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. He gave him a ring. The ring restored him to the position uh -oh. of authority. Yeah. Uh, when you see that ring up on my finger, when you see that ring that says Christ, you know I have authority. All right. And you know God has given me power mm -hmm. to tread upon serpent's head. So enemy, you better watch out. Unimus power. Oh my God. Because I got my power and I got my authority back. You fooled me one time. You fooled me one time and had me asking for my stuff. Uh, you fooled me one time and had me back out there in the world partying like I had no sense. Hallelujah. But God put a ring on it. Uh, he put a ring on it, y'all. Put a ring on it. But don't say, y'all, she had something. But she ain't had nothing. Because God put a ring on it. When he saved us, he put a ring on it and he gave us authority and power to tread upon the surface head. He gave us authority and power to drink any deadly thing and nothing shall harm us. Do we know what we got? Do we know what we got? God to put a ring on. He to put a ring on. Titus 3 and 7 says, that being justified by his grace, we shall be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Ah, we are heirs for eternity if we want it. Mm -hmm. if, we yeah, if. Mm -hmm. if you're willing mm -hmm. to turn your face to the wall. There you go. Oh, All oh right. my God. All oh, right. That's your name, Jesus. All you right. have to turn your face to the wall and ask God, what is it that you would have me to do? Yeah. Right. And you know, sometimes while you got your face turned to the wall, the enemy is steady tugging on you. He's steady tugging on you. He's steady tugging. But you got to turn back and know, I know who my redeemer. I know right. that my All redeemer right. lives. Right. And no devil in hell is going to change my mind. Yes. 
Glory to God. You got to do that. You got to do it. Galatians 4 and 7 says, Therefore, mm -hmm. thou art no more a servant. When God put a ring on you, ain't no servant no more. You ain't no servant no more, but a son. Yeah, a son. A son. And if a son, then you are an heir to God through Christ. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Y'all yeah. hear that? Yeah. If you are a son, mm -hmm. if you are heir, mm -hmm. my God, you know we get, we don't, God would give us our portion. Yes. Hallelujah. We don't have to go and ask for it. And you know what? We're going to do it right. We ain't going to go out there and live riotously. Glory to God because of the power and authority that God has given us. Yes. Glory to God. And you know, after he gave him the ring, uh oh, come uh, on. Here. He gave him a new robe. Uh -huh. That's what God does to us, y'all. Yeah. He gives us a whole lot of new stuff. New stuff. New stuff. New stuff. And that's why he tells us that all things are passed away. Yeah. Yes. Behold, all things become new. new. Glory to God. Yeah. Then he gave him some shoes. All right. Oh, All that's right. his name. All right. He gave him some new shoes. Some new because shoes. you know what? He's getting ready to walk in some new destinies. All right. All right. You clowning up in here. Ah, All right. My God, my God. May God give us some new shoes. Uh oh, yeah. oh bless the name. Now y'all know I love me some shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. God ain't just gonna now. give you any old kind of shoes. Yes. These shoes gonna take you places that you never been. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna take you places that you never been before. Yes. But most of all, it's gonna keep you from those places you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. Yes. Yes. Oh, glory to God! You see, the shoes was immediate restoration and elevated him. Oh, All bless right. his name. Right. It elevated him above servanthood. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Uh -huh. Which means he became a free man. Because yeah. you see, slaves and servants didn't wear shoes back then. Uh -oh. <laughs> they didn't wear shoes. So when God give you some, when you, when you God give you some new shoes, you are no longer a servant. Yeah. But he wants you to use those shoes to take your places to build the kingdom. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Don't take those shoes and go out and do riotous living. Mm -hmm. So now that you all dressed up, I'm not going to be before you too long. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be before you too long. Glory to God. You got your robe. You got your ring. You got your shoes. Yeah. Now God wants to know what you're going to do. What you're going to do. What you're going to do. Because God has loved us with the everlasting love. Just like that prodigal son father. He loved them even though he hurt his heart. I'm sure his heart was broken to pieces. And we, when we get into our own selves. Glory to God. We break our Heavenly Father's heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we start to back up and don't do those things that he's called us to do. Yes. Come on. Come on. Uh, glory to God. Mm -hmm. God wants the best for us. Absolutely. Just like the song said, he saw the best. Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah. When everybody yeah. around us could only see the worst in us. But God saw us through eyes of love. He saw us through eyes of mercy. He saw us through eyes of grace. And when we come back to God, he's going to throw his loving arms around us and he's going to act just as if we never left. Glory to God. That's the Father's love. And fathers here on earth, we need to do our children, our the earthly same children, the same way, exact way. way. Yes. When they cut up, yeah, yeah, discipline. I'm not saying don't discipline. All right. <laughs> now y'all know I'm all for some discipline right here. <laughs> she grown now, so she, she, you know, sometimes when they get grown, they got to have a little mind back. Right. But, you know, I'm all for some discipline. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> the Bible tells me if you spoil the rod, spare the spare rod, you spoil the child. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying beat them down and, right, and right. CPS have to come pick them up. Right. Right. <laughs> but let them know what they're doing is yeah, wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> and show them and show them. I said show, show them the show. right way. Yeah. Don't have a mentality to do as I say it, not, not as, as I, I do. do. Yes, yes. You know, you have to have your, as we always say, your audio have to match your video. Yes. Yeah. 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 Our children are watching us. They're watching us. They're watching us. And I'm sure the prodigal son was watching his father. That's why he knew he could come back home. Amen. That's why he knew he could come back home. Because his father was living the life before him. And he knew if he loved God, there was no way in the world he was going to turn his back on him. That he was going to bring him back in the fold and restore him just as if he had never left. But you know what? There's always going to be a hater. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm going to take a little praise break. Show them video. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
sacrificing the one for the many. Amen, amen. The prodigal son's oldest son mm -hmm. felt like he was being sacrificed. Mm -hmm. But he was not sacrificed. The father did everything he could for the one. Because sometimes we may feel, children, that your parent may love one more than other.